Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at Lucario GX with Lycanroc GX here today. Obviously, Lucario Lycanroc is mostly a deck used with Zoark. That concept has been put inside of Zoark GX. We've taken out the Zoark altogether and we've been able to kind of tech out the deck a little bit more. Um, we've been able to throw in other Lycanrocs and other cool tech cards to kind of back us up a little bit. And hopefully just a straightforward... Lucario Lycanroc deck is enough to win us some games. Obviously, it's a very powerful, aggressive archetype that preys on the likes of Zapdos. You also want to play against Picarom. There's plenty of that on PDCGO right now, and there's plenty of Zoark on PDCGO. So this deck probably has um, some good spread wins across the board. Um, and I, I do like this deck a lot. I think Lucario Lycanroc has some potential. Um, it is a pretty interesting archetype that I think is good. Um, take some auto losses, I guess, but overall, I still think this is, this could be a really decent deck right now. Uh, before we get any PCGO video, of course, guys, shout out to the sponsor, Cardcaffer TCG. If you guys ever need any PCGO codes for any packs, like, such as Team Up or Lost Thunder, or actually, they, uh, Cardcaffer now has the, uh, Picarom, Celebi, Venusaur, Snorlax, EV decks, um, that you can buy off of Cardcaffer now. You know what I mean. I, I, hopefully you guys know what I mean anyways. Uh, the Picarom decks, I don't really know... Like, it's too much about them because I never bought one, but basically, you get a deck, you get two Pikachu Zekrom, you get, like, two Celebi Venusaurs, whatever deck you buy, there's, I think, three of them, uh, one for Venusaur Celebi, Pika Rom, and one for Snorlax Eevee. Card Cavern TCG does have those, so if you guys need to get any of those, get them over at Card Cavern TCG, and when you buy one there, you can also use discount code code LDF, you get a 5% discount on the order, seems pretty good. Shout out Card Cavern. Now we're gonna get into the deck, so yeah, it's just Lucario Lycanroc. Um, obviously, Lucario Buzzwool is also a fairly decent archetype right now, but this one doesn't really take the big auto loss to Giratina as much, since we have a heavier line of Lycanrocs to back us up. We have two different Lycanrocs in this deck. We have the Twilight Eyes Lycanroc, and we have the Bloodthirsty Eyes Lycanroc, and our other main attacker is Lucario here. So, essentially what you're trying to do is you're just trying to play against the best matchups you can. Obviously, this deck favors Zoark GX. Uh, this deck likes to see... Zapdos sometimes, Picarom obviously being at the top of the food chain, uh, and the deck can beat other matchups too. Um, I think this deck's no numbers can still be decent enough to carry through games. We do have some tech cards to help us out a little bit also. So yeah, your main tech is Lucario, Aura Strike, you play this down from a Riolu, you do 120, with a Dancy, you do 140, with a Choice Band, you do 170, and then with a Kakui, you do 190, so you hit some pretty good numbers with Aura Strike. Uh, when you get the right combo off. And even if you don't knock them out, you can always finish them off um, later. Uh, Ace Roller, though, is going to be the MVP of this deck, though. We're going to be Ace Rolling our Lucarios a lot, and even our Lycanrocs. Uh, one of the things about Lucario is when you get damage, you can just Aura Strike and do another Riolu, slap down Lucario again. Or you can just use Kantera to just beat down. What's that thing about Lucario? It's like Tauros GX, where you know, it sits in the act of your opponent, does a lot of damage to it. They get knocked down returned, so that's one of the nice things about Lucario here, is it can take some big prizes. It can even take four prizes by the time it goes down. And when you ace roll it, you can just kind of loop it. And the other attacker in the deck is going to be Lycanroc GX here with Bloodthirsty Eyes. And we're even going to play one of the Twilight Eyes Lycanroc, because uh, this guy can actually do some really cool things. But Lucario and Lycanroc. So Lycanroc here allows you to do Bloodthirsty Eyes. Uh, this allows you to like do Ace Rolla and Aura Strike in the same turn, along with like a Gust Guzma-ish effect. Which is one of the nice things about having Bloodthirsty Eyes. Uh, and you can also just use Claw Slash and Dangerous Rogue. Dangerous Rogue is really good. Uh, Claw Slash's numbers are okay with Diancy and a Kakui. It allows you to one-shot Giratinas. But really, Bloodthirsty Eyes is good. Most of the time with this deck, you're just going to be knocking out what's on the bench. If they have something in the active you can't really deal with, you can always Bloodthirsty Eyes around them. Yes, we are playing the Twilight Eyes one. We're actually going to be comboing this with, like, E-Hammer. Uh, you can actually do some pretty cool things with Enhanced Hammer and Twilight Eyes. Twilight Eyes removes one energy off your opponent's active Pokemon. So... If for example, you're staring down a Selby Venusaur uh, with an energy on it and a DC on it. You can enhance him with the DC off Twilight Eyes, the Grass off, and then they're left with no energy on them. Uh, this thing can actually do okay damage output too. A Cell Rock does 10 more damage than uh, Claw Slash, which is actually strong. And one of the nice things about it is its damage output is just better. A Cell Rock can do 120, and um, 120 damage is pretty good. Uh, because with a Choice Band, you do 150. With a Dionce, you do 170. So you can kind of see where I'm getting at there. Same in damage output as Aura Strike. Uh, so this Lycanroc can actually be good. Three Rockruff. Um, 
yeah, that's it for the uh, main attackers. Just some other backup cards. Dauncey's Pr Princess Cheer is really important. I am playing, of course, one Buzzwool for Sledgehammer. It's just kind of have to. If you play a fighting deck, you just kind of have to play this card. It's just that simple. I'm playing one Absol. Really nice against Jirachi. We don't play Jirachi in this deck. Uh, this deck is not really modeled too much off of the uh, Buzzwool Lucario deck Peter Kiga played. Uh, but you can still play Absol. It's still a really good card regardless. Uh, and we play one Mars Shadow for Let Loose. It's really nice to have Let Loose. Just just great ability. And just one Lele. Uh, Lele is really risky, but because like this deck just slaps Picarom super hard, we can get away with Lele being on our bench. That's it for the Pokemon. Now we go into the items. Again, one Enhanced Hammer. Really useful uh, with Lycanroc's Twilight Eyes. And it's just good in general to slow the opponent down. Uh, three Nest Balls. Be able to fill your bench up. One Stretcher. You got a Pokemon back. I'm playing one copy of Switch. Combined with three Guzmas. Three Ace Rollers. Hopefully nothing is trapped in the active. Uh, I'm playing one timer ball. Not a fan of this card, but you know what? It sometimes guarantees us Lucario or Lycanroc. Four Ultra Balls to get our Pokemon. Um, I am playing a split of two Brooklets and one Viridian Force. Viridian can be really good in the late game uh, to be able to get your fight energies when you need them the most. Three Ace Rollers, four Cynthias, three Guzmas, four Lily, two Kikui to round our supporters. I would maybe consider a third Professor Kikui because the 20 damage will go a long way a lot of the time, especially when Dion sees prize or they knock it out and then you do need that extra 20. So if you want to play a third Kikui, be my guest. Now I am playing one Bodybuilding Dumbbells along with two Choice Bands. Uh, Choice Band is really good, obviously, for the damage, but I like the Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Just That 40 HP is super powerful. Giving Lycanroc 40 more HP makes it harder for Tag Bolt to KO it. Lucario gets 250 HP, makes it really hard to KO also. So you can do some really cool things with Bodybuilding Dumbbells. I am playing 3 DCs for Lycanroc. One Rainbow Energy. You might be like, why on earth is Rainbow in here? Well, this allows you to loop Lucarios over and over again. If you knock something with Aura Strike and they don't damage you, then Lucario then just has to do Aura Strike for like 50 damage sometimes, maybe even 30. So the Rainbow just guarantees a CS roll loop. And just 6 fighting. Uh, a little low on the fighting side, but you can get away with it, honestly. It's not a big deal to play 6 fighting. Uh, yeah, this is my Lucario Lycanroc list. I'm enjoying it, this deck. I think this is actually a really fun deck to play. And it might be powerful in this meta. So we'll try it out. Alright guys, we're gonna go hop into the game or two with the deck, see what we can do, what we play against. And alright, first game looks like we're up against potentially a Zapdos, but all the types kinda line up to potentially a Pikarom deck. We'll see though, it's one of the two Zapdos or Pikarom. But either way, we're destined to beat them when we're playing a Lucario Lycanroc deck. And we do go first, which is even better. We can do a nice turn two Bloodthirsty Eyes. Oof, but we had to start with Dionsi. However, we have a good enough hand to maybe Guzma and Timer Ball in the same turn. So it could be worse. Dionysus is pretty bad, though. Obviously, you want to start with Rock or for Riolu. But we'll Nest Ball for Riolu. Attach. Maybe, I don't know, maybe get a Rock up instead. I don't know. Okay, so it is Peaky Rum. So, I mean, this matchup basically is as easy as it gets. Um, I don't even know if it's going to last that long. That's the problem when you're playing anti deck on PC, Joe. People can just quite simply press the Concede button. Ooh, we got a switch. That's pretty good. I might actually play that. Um, I'm gonna just keep getting real losing play. Um, problem is, I can get Zapdos knocked out. Um, I think it's worth the risk, though. Yeah, it's fine. Tempted to Marshadow, but I'd rather hold the hand. I'll just pass. We do have a knockout here. He might retreat. I'm a little worried about a Zapdos knocking me out here. Hope that doesn't happen. It's going to Ultra Ball. It's going to get rid of Coco and an energy. Okay. Tapu Coco GX could actually be a bit of a threat to us, but it's got enough HP for us to hit pretty good numbers on it. 170 HP is pretty low for my opponent. It's going to Choice Band, the Picarom. So you're going to drop a Lily f or Lele for a Lily which is fine. They're probably looking to retreat this guy, because if they uh, don't retreat it, I'm going to switch Timer Ball, or actually I'll just play Ultra Ball, just play it safe, get Lucario, knock him out. If not, we'll Guzma this Picarom up, so yeah, we shouldn't get knocked out now by a Zapdos, which is good. But this matchup, basically the best one you can gas for. And I'm glad we found one. I'm glad we found a matchup that we auto win. This deck obviously preys on these Picarom players. So, there you go. I'm glad we found a Picarom game. So, they are playing Jolteon. That's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter what any types they play unless they're running Zapdos. I'm actually just going to pass. 
which means we will knock them out. I'm actually just going to go for the timer ball here. Double heads. Well, I mean, sure. Switch. Take a knockout. We'll Ultra Ball, get rid of probably Professor Kikui and Guzma. I'll keep the other Kikui just in case. We'll get Rock Rock. Yeah, my opponent's like, bruh. I could get Absol in case of like, I don't know, a, uh, what's his face? Um, Jirachi, but I doubt he plays that. So I'm looking for an energy here for Rock Rock. We got a Rainbow. Probably best to save that for next turn. Uh, yeah, I'll play you down, I think, just in case. I'll just Aura Strike, knock him out. I mean, he's got zero aura. I'll put that down anyways. We'll draw our two or three prizes. I forgot we take three. There's a Roller, there's a Viridian, there's a Brooklyn Hills. So what I can do next turn, if he goes for Jolteon, he could do his uh, GX attack, um, potentially to save him one turn of getting knocked out. But if he does that, uh, I can just Bloodthirsty Eyes, Ace Roller, Rainbow Energy, knock out this Lele, probably. So yeah, we can probably take a prize here um, the next turn, either on the Lele or the Jolteon. So yeah, we should win this game. Obviously, this is the best matchup, so this game probably won't even last that long. Uh, really curious to see, though, if my opponent's going to be able to knock me out. He's going to need, like, Thunder Mountain and a ton of Electro Powers and Choice Pins. He's going to need a lot to take out Lucario, so there's no way Lucario's going not. He's going to get knocked out here. There's no way Lucario goes down. He's going to Ultra Ball. He might Marshadow me, actually, because my hand is pretty massive. So I am predicting a Marshadow. Yep, there it is. Just going to hit me with Marshadow. That's fine. We still have most of our supporters. Electro power. Oh my gosh, a third electro. So he's gonna need a Thunder Mountain and an energy here to really put the pressure on me. Three of that is 90 plus. So he's actually doing 200 damage to me. He would need a Choice Band or another Electro Power. He's got Absol. He's gonna scoop. Yeah, there we go. Boom, that's game. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's like basically the matchup you want to play against. But you know, a game like that won't last that long. As soon as we just knock out their Pika Bomb, it's all over. Uh, they really did try, though, for the knockout with the Jolteon. That could have been gotten a little scary. Could have been a little scary. They actually... Uh, stuff like Aether Paradise can get in the way, too, I think, of dealing with Picarom. If we didn't have Choice Man or Diancie or Kikui, that definitely could have gone south. But, uh, yeah, Picarom. Basically the matchup that you want to play against. You don't want to play against any other matchup with Picarom. And we'll try another game here, and we're up against... Ooh. Looks like... I don't know. It could be a Zapdos deck, but I don't know what the fire... I'm thinking it could be Blacephalon and Ganondel with, like, Zebstrika, which I think it actually is. Um, so I think Blacephalon's a little bit harder to play against. Wow. Triple Riolu. Yeah, I think Blacephalon's gonna be one of our harder matchups. Twilight Eyes could actually be pretty good, though, to uh, maybe get rid of Beast Energy or slow the Blacephalon down. That could be a decent call. Ganondel is a bit of a challenge. Hmm. Oh, he's playing a Blissey deck. Well then, he is weak to fighting, so this should be good. Um, the the uh, Riolu draw was pretty good, actually. So we'll just play Kikui. And right, we just pass. And then next turn, we'll just either knock him out with Lucario or just knock out the Chansey. Pretty bad start. Uh, obviously, Kikui's not the greatest. We do have an Ultra Ball, though. We can grab Tapu Lele. We can do a lot here, so pretty foul of his hand. I don't know if I want to play the rainbow, though, because it looks like Flying Flip's going to take effect, which puts damage on me regardless. So we're up against, like, I think a Malamar deck with Blissey. So we definitely have to watch out for Giratina. So we're probably going to probably use Lucario a little bit, but we're definitely going to want to try and go for Lycanroc a little bit more. You can run a counter game this deck if you want over the Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Speak of the devil, there it is, Bodybuilding Dumbbells. I think that gives Blissey a 200 HP. Does not matter, though. We basically one-shot him anyways. Um, but yeah, counter game could be a nice one of in this deck. Um, it doesn't really matter on Lucario, uh, but it's good for Lycanroc. It lets you do, uh, Dangerous Rope for one energy, which is actually really good. So, I can definitely see room for counter gain. And oh my gosh, a TV reporter turn one. That is not what they were looking for. They were definitely looking for a good old Lily. Getting rid of a counter energy. That's a good discard, actually. And alright, no flying flip this turn. Did our Nest Ball. We might get another Inke here. Yep. I might actually just target the Inkes, honestly. That's not a terrible call either. Not a terrible call. So let's see we draw another Ultra Ball. 
Okay, so we'll Brookwood Hill for probably not, I don't even know if I need anything. Like, I... The problem with Brookwood Hill, if I fill my bench up, I walk into Flying Flip, and then I gotta deal with Tapu Lele, which is no fun. Alright, double heads? No, okay, so we'll get the Lycanroc. We can get Twilight Eyes. We can save that, though, for DC. So we'll do this. Rainbow Energy. We'll Lycanroc. Definitely gonna bring out... Actually, we'll bring out the Oranguru. This guy's got one card in his hand. We'll Ultra Ball. Get Lele. You can maybe even use Tapu Care. If he's playing a spread heavy build, we can like Tapu Care at some point. That can be pretty memeable. Just get Cynthia. See if he E hammers his uh, energy off. If not, it doesn't matter. See if we get Ace Roller here for next turn. We do not. Okay, well, we got another Rockruff. Don't want to put too many Pokemon down, so I think I'm just going to knock him out with Aura Strike. Call it a day. There's a Cynthia. So what we can do next turn is we can maybe do, like, Guzma Switch. I don't really know if there's actually a point in that. <laughs> Never mind. He's going to Cynthia rip, dude. So it looks like he got a Cynthia off TV Reporter or his top deck. That's pretty sad. So we need to start building up Lycanroc, though. Definitely need to start building up our Lycanroc because we're going to need Bloodthirsty Eyes and Dangerous... Or Claw Slash and Dangerous Rogue. Definitely Claw Slash, though. There's a DC. There's a Choice Band. It's going to do a lot of damage with Flying Flip. So I didn't want to put too many Pokemon on my bench because I figured he was just going to Flying Flip me here. So, I mean, if I could just draw Ace Roller, that would be great. No. I think we'll play you down... Um, we'll play the Nest Ball. We don't actually have to play it. Actually, we could actually get Absol. Yeah, let's get Absol. I don't... I No, I didn't say I wanted to fill my bench up. We knocked this out. Who cares? Absol is huge. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't know if we're going to knock him out this turn. Yeah. I guess I can Kinter just beat down him. That's really memeable. And then I guess we can build up to... Yeah, I don't even think he's going to knock me out. I think... I don't know if I think this is a good idea or not to waste my GX stack on a Coco, but I think it's a good call. Absol's in play, so we can't like do any escape board shenanigans. I'm in no threat right now of getting knocked out. And we can actually build up a Cyclone Kick. Or we can just Ace Rolla, which, you know, whatever. I think I think that was a good play. I don't know. We might need Dangerous Rogue for like, yeah, this thing, but I feel like this was still a better play. You can actually use Absol with Rainbow Energy and DC to uh, knock out Giratina, which is kind of cool. So my opponent's going to Ultra Ball. Getting rid of Energy, probably from Alamar. So what is your first attack? Heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. Interesting. If your opponent's active Pokemon has damage counters on it, this attack does nothing. Alright, pretty busted. There's a Blissey, so yeah. So it's got the ability to remove it, especially because there's no any scoops. There we go. Concede. Giratina definitely is a threat, though. That thing can deal with Lucario, but we had the Lycanroc, so it's all good. I probably could just two-shot him and just called it a day anyway, so there we go. Another good matchup. Let's go do another game. So two matchups in a row that are good. Let's see if we can find a Zoar game now so we can see how that plays out. No, it looks like probably can just Gardevoir, maybe? I see Water and Fairy. Tell me it's Guardy. Nope, we're gonna lose the coin flip. The so nice thing about playing Buzzcario over uh, Lucario uh, Lycanroc is that Buzzcario has the aggressiveness if they go second. This deck has to wait a turn sometimes. It's kind of the issue with playing this build over the Buzz. The Buzz will build. We do have Sledgehammer though. I might even do that. I have Guzma and Nest Ball. I think we're up against. No, we're not up against Gardevoir. Oof. Are we up against. A spread deck again? I think we are. Wondrous Labyrinth coming down. Alright, don't know why my opponent put that down now, but okay. Oh, we're actually against the Cinderwood. That's actually a smart idea, though, to play Wondrous Labyrinth, because it does give my opponent... Um, they can still they can build themselves up with its ability and attach anyway, so it's not like this Wondrous Labyrinth gets in the way. That's actually pretty smart on my opponent's end. So, we need to figure out how to stop that. How many stadiums do we have? Got all three. Okay. So we'll attach to the rock if I think it's fine. If we get knocked out, whatever. 
Wow, a bunch of nothing. Um, we'll choice ban the Riolu. Pretty bad hand. I think I'm just going to hold it. So he can do... He can knock me out if he has a DC. I don't know if he's playing that, though. Incineroar doesn't really run DC. He might have rare candy Incineroar, though. That's fine. Again, we can just pop Lucario or Strike, knock him out. Because guess what Incineroar is weak to? I'll give you a hint. It starts with a fighting type. Ninetales might be interesting. Uh, good thing we're not playing Buzzcario, though. We don't have to worry about Sublimation. That's pretty good, actually, too. So, if I can draw a Viridian Forest here, that would be pretty good. So, I can bump the stadium, get the energy, and no, he scoops also. He scoops also. All of these matchups where fighting types one shot, the opponent just doesn't want to play. But that Wonder's Labyrinth is a smart idea, though. Uh, definitely. Oh, he had a weakness policy, so it looks like he had the counter. Maybe he prized it, that's why he conceded. Fine, though. I haven't really done much of this ladder. It's not that great of a ladder, anyways. I, I don't really need any more team up packs. Gladian Full Art's not worth much, so it's kind of a whatever ladder. Alright, let's see who we're up against. Just keep sending me those uh, fighting weak decks, and uh, we'll call it a day, PDC Geo. Thank you. I've never been so grateful in my life. So I'm going to go for Tails. Nice. So we're up against a Dark deck. Uh, this actually could be a another Zor. We'll see. It could be a Spread deck also, though. We'll see. We actually got a pretty good start here. Riolu, Lily. Hopefully we can draw a Rock Ruff so I can attach the energy to it. We'll see what we're playing against here. Could be a Hoopa deck. I don't know. Could be a stall deck. No, nope. it is spread. So we keep playing against spread today, folks. Uh, not fun. I think I just Lily. <laughs> not much to work with. All right, we pass. Uh, Riolu should survive. He can do sneaky. I keep forgetting about sneaky smash. I gotta stop attaching. I keep forgetting about this attack. That's fine though. Whatever. Actually, it's not fine because that gets in the way. But whatever. It is what it is. I might be playing Weavile Honchkrow. But uh, it only works when he's using when I'm using abilities. Let's see how this goes. He's playing hammers in his list, though, from the looks of it. Judging by one dangerous drill, he might be playing more than one. He might be playing enhanced hammer, maybe even Plumeria. Oh, and he's playing Umbreon. So once again, we're getting the good matchup spread with uh, nice. Ooh, he's gonna judge me. Okay, whatever. Uh, don't get energy and let me draw Lucario so I can knock you out. Nice, we got Lucario. Not a really good hand, though, otherwise. That's unfortunate. And he whiffed. Nice, we can just knock him out. Beautiful. Uh, we'll Nest Ball for... Probably just Rock Rough. Actually, no, let's get another Riolu. We have the Ace Rolla in our hand. So if he does Strafe, we'll just Ace Rolla. I guess, like, I wanted to get Rock Rough, though, because I might need it. But I don't know, it's fine. Uh, we'll just Aura Strike to knock him out. Don't need to play Body Moon Dumbbells, no point. I might even need that for Choice Band. And hopefully we get a supporter off the prize I can draw something. Another Lucario is fine. If we can draw a Guzma, uh, or if he drops a Viridian and I draw a Guzma, I can knock out this strafed Umbreon. No, he's actually going to fall in the Retaliate Umbreon, so he's playing a non-GX build. Alright, fine. There's an Evelyn. Okay. There's a Black Market. Oof. Okay, can we draw a Brooklyn Pill now? He's got a lot. Oh, wow. And this Eveltal is kind of a threat. Derail gets rid of my uh, DCE on my Lucar or my Lycanroc, so we only play three. Can even get rid of Rainbow Energy. Not that it matters, but still, that's pretty threatening. So, we can knock him out, but I'm really hoping we can draw out of this. Not helping too much. So, we have to do Ace Roll, though. We could have Lilied and hoped to get the Switch Stadium. I think we just knock him out, though. I know we're not taking a prize. It's fine, though. Problem is, you might just go into another thing. Wow. Not getting a prize is really bad. Wow. You got lucky to draw in this black market. So I'm hoping we can get a Viridian or a Brooklyn Hills. This is why it's so good to play multiple stadiums. See what other supporters he has. Body Mill Dumbbells can save us, though. If he doesn't have a choice band for Retaliate, if he does go for Retaliate, it's not going to do as much damage. But I am looking for a counter stadium. Not taking a prize is pretty bad. Uh, we'll eventually be able to bump this. 
played so early on. We have all our stadiums, but just not getting the prize there can definitely slow us down a little bit. He's going to Guzma my Riolu, which I'm actually fine with that, unless he's going to knock me out. Which I think he's going to. If we had a Kikui Diancy, I mean, if we can draw Kikui, Kikui into Ener uh, Kikui into Diancy, that'd be good. <laughs> we can just knock him out with Aura Strike without even evolving. Invisible energies. Okay, so yeah, this black market's definitely a problem. We definitely need to bump this thing. I'm fine, honestly, with just doing Aura Strike. We have a lot of HP thanks to this bodybuilding dumbbells. Ooh, we drew Kikui after all. But I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, we didn't get down. See, we did find a uh, Rock Ruff, though, which is good. We'll just Aura Strike. I'm not a whole lot of damage. Uh, he can build up Dark Cutter, I guess. Maybe for 60. Fine. We can do uh, Kikui next turn. Still, we need to bump that Stadium very soon. If not, I, I had the option to Guzma the Oranguru. It's the only thing that I can get a prize on right now. So that's definitely going to need to be a thing. Not the greatest Lily, though. I mean, the Rockruff is good, but still. We didn't even get an Ace Roller to respond to. Good Nest Ball. I don't even think it's worth it to knock him out, because we just activate Retaliate again. He's most likely Nest Balling for an Eevee here. So it's probably best to not even attack him. I just don't want to walk into a Retaliate, especially if he Guzma's my Rock Ruff out. I guess what I actually could do, I could Twilight Eyes knock him out. So I could do that, actually. Which is fine. It doesn't really matter what Lycan Rock I use, to be honest with you. They both kind of do the same thing. Ooh, he's playing Zoark in his list. Not the GX, though. He's definitely playing the other one with Night Punishment. Uh, I forget what, how that thing's damage output works. I, I think, is it 10 plus? Is it 10 plus 10? I wish I knew. I'm tempted to Google. Oh, he's actually going to judge me. All right, that's why does my brightness on my MacBook keep going down? I don't know if this is affecting the video at all. I really hope it isn't. I guess I don't have my light on. Ooh, a bodybuilding dumbbells, but not on the Umbreon. Okay. So, let's see what we draw. Drew another energy. So, we'll Nest Ball for... Probably just Riolu. I was thinking to get an Absol there, because we take away his retreat on Yveltal. But we didn't get much else to work with. Again, do I need... I think we... I don't know, we can knock him out, I guess, because... He's not guaranteed an Eevee. Well, he might be. But he's not going to knock me out, though. Hmm. Okay, we can knock out Absol. Or we can... Actually, no, we can knock out the Zoro. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Completely forgot we actually do have a knock out Zoro here. Doesn't have a Dark Energy on it, so Black Market will not count. I guess I need to play this down. My bad, he might Guzman. I'm actually not attaching the Energy, as you can see. We don't need to... And there we go, we got a counter stadium. So now we can start winning the game. Kind of wish I played Absol down, but we shouldn't get knocked out here. And all we need to do is just draw one of our Ace Rollers. Draw an Ultra Ball, draw Lele, Ace Roller, this guy. Da uh, Dangerous Rogue, this Umbreon or something. I don't think he's playing any GXs. My point's going to Cynthia. So I mean, we could either knock out Sneasel or this thing. But it's fine, we can finally get rid of the stadium. And Broken Hill can get us another Rock Ruff. Definitely we can build up for... Um, Twilight Eyes. I guess I didn't need to play the Dante down, though, because of Rule of Evil, and I did not consider that. No, he's going to go for Evil Admonition. He's probably going to retaliate, though, because he's doing more damage with that. I mean, I mean, if we do get knocked out, we're still going to be in a decent spot anyways, I think, so it's not going to matter. And let's see what he goes for. He might, um, countercatcher me or something random. I could see that happening. gonna get a ditto prism gotta watch out for that that could evolve into anything but i guess he's only playing dark so maybe not i i'm a little scared of derail though this can slow my light knock down quite a bit but thanks to dancing kikui it's easy to one shot anyways and lucario one shots it too with the dancing so let's see if we can draw into ace rolla here we did not but i will actually take absol that is actually pretty good too you down. Well, whatever. We'll keep the rainbow. We'll just dangerous roll rainbow energy. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. We'll take our prize. 
There's an Ultra Ball. So that will get us Tapu Lele. So we're probably going to get knocked out here from Evil Admonition. Which I guess would not have happened if I didn't put down Sir Absol down. But at least with Absol, this takes away his Evolthal, which is pretty big in my opinion. Because now he doesn't, like, he's going to have to retreat with an energy if he wants to go into something. Which is good. But obviously he's, we're going to, um, I guess I can Dangerous Rogue through Evolthal. But this thing could be a threat though. Because of Evil Admonition. We'll see. It's going to get a Zoar. Sucks we couldn't bump the Black Market earlier. And I'm actually glad it's not evolving to Eveltal. That could get in the way. Oh, it's 20 times. And there's a lot of Pokemon in the discard pile. So both Zoark and Weavile are actually pretty threatening Pokemon here. I still think we're okay to win. That Black Market did screw us over a little bit, though. Oof, I'll throw the moon. That just bumps my absolute completely. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just have the Dangerous Rogue. See what I can draw. Ooh, Mars Shadow. I will take that. So, we'll play the Rainbow. Not a fan of putting 190 damage on us, but it doesn't really matter. 20 times we Pokemon is quite a bit. Enhanced Hammer. Okay, we can save that for next turn. Uh, Viridian is definitely good. Probably get a switch. I definitely want an energy for next turn. So we can lay lane everything, I think. Knock out Weavile. See what our prize is. Buzzwool, a little late for you, buddy. But it's Ultra Ball bait. So if he, see if he got DC. He's got to go in a Zoark because Absol is in play and it takes away his Eveltal. I think he does knock me out. I'm too. Ooh, a body move dumbbells. Wow. And a DC. This guy had everything. And a Sith. Why do my Marsh... Everyone complains about Marsh Shadow, but I don't know, man. This does not work at all for me. Most of the time, I, I Marsh Shadow them still into the turn one Lily. Or I still Marsh Shadow them into the exact hand they needed. So, yeah, Marsh Shadow is not as busted as you may think. And Sneasel, oof. That might actually be game if we have to grab Layla. I think we just have to donk him with the, the Lycan... Blah, 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 Lucario, sorry. Is he knocking me out? I think he is. I'm too lazy to do the math. There's a lot of Pokemon, and he just needs to cap at 200, which is a lot. I think he knocks me out again. I'm too lazy to do the math. I'm not going to bother. Yeah, literally on the dot, so that's a bit of a rip. This might actually be harder to win than I thought because of Sneasel, man. Are you serious? We have an Enhanced Hammer. Uh, we can play that. We're gonna have to just hope he doesn't have the Goose McWin. Just gotta hope he doesn't have Guzma to win here. We have an empty hand too, so we gotta hope our prize or top deck are gonna come in handy too. Nest ball, not great. We can win though, if we can get a Lycan Rock off, we can just bring out the Absol and Aura Strike it. I am worried though he'll have Guzma game. Let's play to Stretcher though, we'll see. He damages me. We can also just draw Isrola. And then risk it with surprise attack? I don't know. This might actually be a closer game than I thought, which it is. But we might not actually win this. And he has game because he brought out Eveltal. Wow. Marshadow let me down. I mean, it gave me the hand I needed. Oh, no, he's going to rule of evil. But its weakness will still affect my Marshadow. Great. We lost. Marshadow... Ah, uh, maybe I didn't need to do it. Dang it, dude, that cheeses me. Marshadow failed me. The Black Market Prism Star is what caused us to lose, though. Literally because we were down a prize. Dang, bro, that's a tough loss to take. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty annoying L take, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in another game. Alright, guys, let's go do another game with our deck. Took an L to a matchup that, you know, you shouldn't really lose to, but... Things caught me off guard, man. Really did. So we're up against a Psychic Metal deck. This could be a Metal-based deck. Or it could be a Psychic-based deck. I guess we'll find out. And alright, we got a decent start in hand. Lele for Lily. Nest Ball, Double Riolu starts always good too. So see how we fare against a Metal deck. This could be a Dust Main Necrozma deck. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. 
This is why the body mill dumbbells can actually be pretty, pretty beast because then he can't knock me out with like his attacks other than thunder clips. And it is all right. Dust mane is kind of a pain because it one shots me. Do we have our body mill dumbbells? First of all, we do. Okay, good. So we will attach to Rockruff. We'll drop Lily for Lily. Maybe we can take out the Magnemite too. Maybe get rid of the Magnemite. Just get a second one. Can definitely kind of cripple him a little bit there. Play Lily. Brookwood Hill. Uh, I'd rather save that to get rid of his Mount Coronets. I think I just played down to the Rock Rough and Pass. We weren't able to establish a Lucario play though, which is kind of unfortunate. I could have went for Marshadow there. I don't really... Nothing to get rid of though. My opponent will play Lily. So I can Marshadow now. Or we can win the game if we can draw an energy, which we did not. He scoops, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, we can play Mar Shadow, uh, try and draw into things. I actually literally didn't have an energy to knock him out. We're getting really close to this rare chest, so. Alright, we'll do another game. All my games have been pretty quick, other than that dark matchup and the other game, but. Yeah, what can you say? And, and, and aggressive decks like this will tend to force quick concedes of the opponent because it's too aggro for the opponent to keep up with a lot of the time, which is why these decks will force big concedes all the time. I'm not too surprised. And we'll see what we're playing against here. Ooh, Lightning and Grass. So he's definitely playing Vika Volt, but I don't think he's playing Vika Ray. Could be playing Vika Bulu, maybe. Vika Bulu's interesting. See what we start with. Mulligan. Complete mulligans. Uh, he could be playing Picarom. I don't know, though. I don't know. If he is, he'll see the triple Lucario and probably just chicken out. Let's be honest here. Alright, we got the real we got Honestly, Scar, not bad. Lily turn one is good. Let's see what we're playing against. What deck will this be? I'm thinking it's Vika Volt. We'll see what kind of Vigable deck it is. Could be Vigable Venusaur, that'd be kind of funny. Could be Vigaboo. I've not seen a Vigaboo deck in a long time. He's playing a Confusion deck. Well then. I mean, we'll attach. We could get Daunt. Uh, ooh, Brookwood Hill's good. Alright, so we'll Nest Ball for Rockruff. Brookwood Hill for another Riolu. Or, yeah, real loop. We'll pass. I'm a little scared of getting donked. Like, he could literally just beast energy, electro power me for the knockout. If he does that, I'm gonna cry. Overall, this matchup should be fine. This thing's pretty weak to fighting. Spinda is pretty easy to knock out, too. There's a shrine coming down. That could actually help me, too, with Ace Rolla. And, alright, he's gonna need a double electro power to knock me out. There's one. Does he have a second one? No, he doesn't. Good. good, good, good. So you knock him out Lucario. What do we draw? Ultra Ball. So we'll get rid of Enhanced Hammer. And Rescue Stretcher. I don't think I'm going to ever play that, if I'm be honest. I'm just going to get Lucario. And we can save the Ultra Ball for Lele for next turn. We need it. And also DC Rockruff. So he can spin to me. Shrine is in play. He hasn't established any Paris though, which is good. There's another energy. That's always good. So we can even just go Bloodthirsty Eyes with Ace Roller too, if we really wanted to. Or Claw Slash Story. Just have to watch out for Cablegram. But again, with Guzmas and Switch and Ace Roller, Paralysis should not be a big issue. So Lucario's definitely not getting KO'd here. I don't think it is. He's going to need to establish some Parises to really put pressure on me. I don't know what to Ultra Ball away though, honestly. I don't know what to Ultra Ball away for. So he's gonna just teeter punch me. And again, we're not really in range getting knocked out. So I'm tempted to just go for the flip of the coin. I don't know, man. I don't want to get rid of anything in this hand. This is a pretty good hand, and there's nothing to discard. Like, I guess we can get rid of Rainbow and. 
Why don't I keep- I need to keep the Guzma, though, because I'm gonna need that for the paralysis he's gonna do. Honestly, I just hold the hand. He's not gonna knock me out next turn. He would need 60. Yeah, there's no way Lucario's going down, right? I'm- I could be wrong. Lucario could go down this turn. It could happen. Not impossible. Yeah, I think we just go for the war strike flip. Hey, we hit it. Nice. Boom. Busted. Busted attack. There's a Cynthia. Yeah. Alright, so that's good discard bait, too. Definitely want to just haste roll this thing, though, next turn. Cynthia. Need to figure out how to get rid of that Shrine, though. Shrine could tick away pretty quickly. Again, my opponent does want to get some Parasys in play to get Parasect going. There's a Choice Band. Um, I guess he can knock me out if he gets, like, an insane amount of cards. Choice Bands, Switch, Energy, Beast Energy could knock me out. If not, we will just Ace Rolla and knock out this Coco Prism. And getting rid of Coco Prism is good because then I guess he can't build this thing up. So what do we draw? Timer Ball. Or we can Guzma if this hits heads. Which it does. So just knock out this Zerka Tree. Busted combo, man. Busted, busted, busted combo. It doesn't really matter. We don't really need the rainbow. Lucario can be uh, used for later, too. Um, I guess it'll take away damage, which is fine. Gotta watch out for Coco GX. He could pull off a Coco play here if he has Thunder Mound and uh, stuff. Should be okay, though. Even if he Coco's me, I can just can tear to speed down him. And then, at that point, we pretty much win. It's gonna Ultra Ball. Hey, Shrine gets discarded. I like to see that. Though, I guess Shrine helps us quite a bit. Plays into our Ace Rolla. Uh, he could Cable Grammy me, because I do have three prizes. Oh, no, he has to have... Never mind, I'm an idiot. He has to have three prizes. Never mind. Electro Power. It's gonna Cynthia. Even if he uh, attacks me here, I'm just going to Ultra Ball for Ace Rolla and just knock him out with Lucario or something. He's going to switch. Choice Band. Ooh, he's racking the numbers up. Does he have a Beast Ring? He can Cable Grammy for a ton of damage here. There's a Paris. He needs to find a Beast Ring, I think, to really put pressure on him. He's already doing 160 damage. So, he's going to do 170 here. So, if he can do Beast Ring and... No, 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 he doesn't know. Never mind. So, I can just plonk him with Lucario. Might as well just go into another Lucario here. Get rid of Rainbow and Riolu. I can ace Rolla and knock my opponent to speed down. But I think we'll save our Jet Stack for a rainy day. We have the other DC in our hand, too. I do need to get these things off the board, though. They're heavily damaged. I'm pretty much in doubt that he's playing any Tapu Leles. Uh, just to, like, randomly move the damage around. That could happen. Well, Cynthia, we're really looking for some ace Rollers here to set up for next turn. There's two... Oh, never mind. That's a Marshadow. I'm an idiot. Or strike him. I was going to attach Choice Bangs as a dead card, but I remember Dan is not in this format, so who cares? There's our prize. Ooh, the card, yeah. So we can Ace Rolla, go back into Lycan Rock, do whatever. Uh, we only have three energy in place. Even if we wanted to go Coco GX, he's probably not going to knock me out. We should win the game. Shrine is ticking away at us. We have Ace Rolla. We do have two more stadiums to counter him with. Not a big problem. Let's get him struck. So here my opponent is most likely looking for a Zerka Tree to Coco on to. Because he wants to retreat with the uh, Paris. He does find it. Okay. So, Electro Charger. Double Tails. Ah, oh, rip. So that puts it in your deck. Okay. Thought I'd put it on top of the deck. This is a really cool concept. When I was building my Paris, Paris, uh, Parasect Espeon deck, I was looking at this deck a little bit, and I was like, this actually seems like a cool concept, but I just remember the Espeon build because it just seemed a little bit more safer to play because this is probably just too rogue um but honestly i'm about rogue so maybe i'll make a video on this deck i know for the win tcg did already so i don't know all right what do we draw another ultra ball so i think what we do here is we probably just end up giving him the lichen rock prize but it's fine lichen rock did justice i can also kakui and just or strike him but we have less damage on us so i'm gonna ultra ball away marsh shadow and choice band just gonna get 
Let's just get Absol to seal the deal. He won't be able to retreat if we Absol him. There he scoops. There we go, boom. And, uh, yeah, if we don't get this chest, I'll probably just wrap up the video. We got it, alright. So we'll open up the chest, and we'll end off today's PDCGO video here. Lucario Lycanroc, guys. I do think this deck is good. I really do think Lucario Lycanroc is a good deck. It's a bit of a toss-up between Buzzcario. We obviously play a bit more of a thicker Lucario line, but the Buzzcario deck has the advantage of B-String, which is really good. Uh, we don't have that. So we'll open up this Rare Hollow chest and hope we don't get a Rare Hollow card. Wait, did I just open up a normal chest? I can't tell. Oh, Dustmane Necrozma. Actually, it was a texture glitch. Yeah, it was a texture glitch. All right, I'll take a Dustmane. I don't really think I need any more. But yeah, uh, Lucario Lycanroc. Uh, where's the deck? Where's the deck? Oh, no, I'm revealing a bunch of decks I don't want to show you guys because I want to surprise you guys. But uh, yeah, I do like this deck quite a bit. This list was fine. We didn't get to use Twilight Eyes, which, whatever, it's fine. Other than that, though, the list pretty much worked for us pretty well. Um, and I, I like it quite a bit. I think the Body Mill Dumbbells was a really good inclusion in the deck. Uh, yeah, I think this is a fun deck to play. So I'll wrap that piece of video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, don't forget to subscribe down the road to 5k subs. If you have not subbed already, again, guys, help me reach 5k subs. It'd be greatly appreciated. Of course, guys, once again, head over to Car Cavern TCG. If you guys need to get any of those, like, Pika Rom, Selby, Venusaur deck codes, Car Cavern TCG does sell them. And when you buy something from there, you can obviously go discount code, code LDF, get a 5% discount on the purchase. Thanks for watching this piece of video. Hope you enjoyed, and peace out. Bye.